So you know, um, first of all, go back to last Friday, competitive debut. I'm sure, I'm sure you would have preferred a major debut in, in a better, in better circumstances. It was a, it was a disappointing result, but from a personal point of view, I'm sure you were delighted to, to get on. And, and I think you made a, you made an impact in the second half. Yeah, it was definitely a tough result. I mean, we were looking for a win, our first home game, you know, first op opening season home game. But um, nonetheless, the debut was. I mean, it was exciting. Uh, Filippo asked me, to, told me that I was coming on in the first, in the second half. I mean, it was just a bunch, bunch of emotions, but mostly just wanting to get the win. It was a tough result, though, but I had fun. You know, it was really competitive. Yeah, it was disappointing because three minutes, I think, after the, the, the second half started, Pat Hoban scored to put us level, and it looked at that stage that we, we'd probably go on and win the game. Yeah, I felt like we were. I mean, I felt like we had the upper hand the whole game, um, in the second half, at least. I mean, I know we had a couple more chances, you know, at least three more, but... Uh, you know, it was just an unlucky night, you know, but, you know, the next day we came back to training, training hard, get ready for the Shamrock Rovers game. You acquitted yourself well. Um, is that your preferred position in the, in the in the middle of the park? Yeah, I like playing in between the lines. I like playing next uh, uh, behind our striker most of the time, get in around, you know, the middle of the field, win second balls, you know, get on it as much as I can. Um, so for the most part, yeah, I like being in the middle of the field. Yeah, proud moment for everybody back home. Yeah, everybody was really happy. A lot of text messages and you know all that stuff. Mom was happy. Dad was happy. They all called me after and just congratulating me. So it was a you know bittersweet moment. Yeah, I'm sure now that you've you've had a taste of competitive action, I'm sure you're you're, you're chomping at the bit to be involved every week now. Of course, yeah, yeah. I mean, it starts in training. I just try to you know get myself into the 18 and hopefully show myself for Filippo. You could trust me inside the game whenever he wants to put me in to make an impact. You know. And, you know, at least get a couple of starts, whatever that is. But all that comes from training, so just working hard. Yeah. What's the mood been like since Friday and, and the last couple of days here in training? I feel like it's been really focused, really focused. I mean, uh, it's a big statement this next Friday game. Uh, you know, we didn't start off the way we wanted to this past couple of games. But, um, you know, all the guys have a clear mind right now. We all have a goal. Uh, we all know what we're supposed to do, and it feels like everybody's focused and spot on with it. Yeah, just go, if we go back to Friday again. Ryan O'Kane also come on at halftime, 17 year old kid. You know, people here are very excited because he's from yeah. the block, but you're training with him day in, day out. Just, just, just how good can Ryan become? Oh, Ryan's a baller, yeah. I mean, he's a local lad, so yeah. you know, you hear it all around, and that's the best thing to see, to be honest. Somebody from you know, this area, you know, playing for the first team and actually showing the, the younger generations that anything is possible, but seeing him in training is just. I mean, he's he's a really good player. I mean, his technique is just great. I mean, back to your point, he's 17 years old, so that whole thing is just his his uh, his development is just going to get even better and better. Yeah. You know, he's just going to get it better. And we've seen Han obviously come on for the last five ten minutes. You know, he only arrived he only arrived the day before the game, and he also showed some some nice glimpses. Yeah, of course. I mean, I've passed. I think it's been four days now that he's been training, and you can sit, tell. I mean, he has a lot of quality. I mean, he played in the K League. Um, he's also a young kid, he's 22 years old and he has a pretty left foot, but you know, you could definitely see his technique and his quality, he likes to dribble and you know, I think he's going to be really good for the club. Yeah, you mentioned Rovers Friday night, I'm, I'm sure everybody, you were up there for the Presidents Cup a couple of weeks ago, but I'm sure everybody in that dressing room, you know, has has made all the new lads aware just what the yeah, knock and yeah, yeah. Rovers means. Yeah, you could feel it as soon as you walk into the locker room, I mean, there's a different, it's a different feeling, I mean, it's a, it's a rivalry and I don't know how far back it goes, but you know, I'd have, probably have to ask a couple of the players to see how far the history goes, but you could definitely feel the the urgency in the game and the, the willingness to want to win and how big the game is, even if it was just a friendly like the President's Cup, you could definitely feel the ten not the tension, but you know, the focus and the, the willingness to win the game. And I suppose in that sense, it's the ideal place to to get the season back up, of back up, up, yeah. up and running. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's going to be a big, a big, uh, a big point, a big point for us to prove. I mean, being at Shamrock Rovers is not going to be an easy place to, to play at. Of course, I mean they're a quality team, but I think you know I think we'll be all right and get our season going. Brilliant. Thanks, Shino. Yeah.